Hey folks, the not so evil evil viking 13 here, but you guys mainly know me as just Dave And I'm back here with the Empire of the Black Eagle We are still in Napoleon Total War, of course And uh, we are still at war with Spain actually Not Spain Austria a former member of our alliance has betrayed us and a bunch of you guys were saying that I need to repair that relationship quickly and focus on France and you guys aren't wrong France is definitely the main threat here but Austria does not want peace yet they declared war and they're not accepting that peace agreement so I'm going to have to humble them just a bit my plan is to head southeast and take Lemberg from them and then sue for peace. For now, for this turn, it is late June in 1805. We have some completed construction and just a little bit of recruitment. Is there a professor or our gentleman in our university? Currently researching poverty control laws. That sounds ominous. Our navy got chased back to port by the Dutch. Let's hang out just a bit to the west here. Okay. We do have two very large. French armies marching on our protectorate here in Hesse Castle. Yeah, my lord. Our general, General Ferdinand, is hiding out nearby. But I think I really should send in some help. I don't know who could help though. Got a unit of musketeers that can go. No, the yeah, army's full. We'll send them south anyway. Because Austria also has an army hanging out down here in the south. Pressing on our borders. The borders of Hessen Castle. Alright, so I've got 4,500 gold. What should I spend that on? Cobbled roads for Greater Poland, Silesia. That should do it for roads for this turn, but that should help get some faster troop movement through the center of my empire right here. Yeah. Okay, so General Gebhard, come south towards Moravia. <laughs> Let's definitely press on the Austrians and keep them nervous. We'll scout out a bit there. Let's recruit more Black Brunswickers Line Infantry and Swiss Line Infantry and that's going to be all of our money. We'll do some militia next turn, maybe. I'm going to go ahead and just march against this unit of unknown in our territory from the Austrians. A single unit of German line infantry. Just auto resolve? Wow, we lost almost 300 men? That was painful. But we are replenishing. A little bit. I guess we'll have to march back to Warsaw to truly replenish. Ooh, their capital down here in Moravia is undefended, I think. I might take that from the Austrians as well. Convince them that their random declaration of war was not worth it at all. Yeah, my lord. 
As for the Dutch, the Bativian Republic. I think you guys were right in the comments. I need to push on Amsterdam pretty quickly. This sounds a lot like the American Republic. The Dutch are up to no good once again. I'm going to combine armies. And keep our reserves back here. I can recruit some militia. Don't know what that icon means. Maybe I shouldn't. Odd. Little red X right there. Hmm. We're low on funds, and I don't think there's any more army movements that I want to make this turn. I'm gonna keep our army at Cleves intact and stationary. And we do have a small army up here in East Prussia. Let's send them south to Warsaw to help with a war against Austria, however temporary it may be. And then, of course, our primary army down here in Hessen Castle needs to stay there. Let's just end our turn. It looks like a French general, Louis Nicolas de Vaut, is approaching our protectorate. But for some reason, only our musketeers are within range. Let's decline the attack. Once again, we have an opportunity to intercept, but that's not all of our forces, so decline. We'll march down and attack that besieging army in the back. There we are. My protectorate is going to sally out and attack the invading French army, and we are within range to intercept. So we're going to go ahead and join our protectorate uh, here at Hessen Castle and attack this French force. It looks like our protectorate is already set up for battle here in the town. They have armed citizenry and line infantry all over the place. So let's go ahead and start the battle. The pocket watch shows so we can march in and assist. Our general staff is first. And he's a bit forward there. We'll send our first cavalry in on the right. And our next groups bit to the left, maybe? Ah, and here come our cannon. I like the looks of this hill right here. To whoever pointed out in the comments that our cannons can actually run our horse artillery, thank you. Look at him go. Let's 
let's actually pull some of this cavalry back and bring our general back here too. The French are definitely panicking. They're outnumbered now and they have no good position. And it looks like my ally is going to push very, very hard here. Primary army group in the center. Line formation. Cannons fire on the horse and on the clustered infantry back there. They are in full panic mode. Our troops just keep coming. Wow, they really are pushing hard. Oops, cannons hold fire. I guess we can just wait in here. This is about to turn into just one giant rout right here. into the breach. Glorious victory, sir. Wow, it's what a massacre. Are. My ally is so aggressive. I am losing some cavalry here. Everyone grab your bayonets and go in. a deafening roar of battle. Let's run them down. Call this a 
Pretty intense victory, man. My protectorate does not screw around. Those bodies. Our protectorate deployed 5,000 troops, lost about 1,200. The French deployed 1,100, almost 1,200, and lost basically all of them. Some of our javelin cavalry actually got 175 kills. Uh, Lancers, 47. Line infantry, 80 or so right there. And the first French army is pushed back. Oh, and my protectorate charges in to finish them off. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Early July, 1805. A new admiral is available in our pool. Trait gained. Attacking general, plus one. And we are replenishing some of those lost troops. My lord. Recruitment in Greater Poland. And a new barracks constructed in Greater Poland. Just a bit further and we'll be able to attack Lemberg. Let's send our spy in and see what's going on there. It is abandoned and unprotected. Let's sabotage their barracks. Agent detected. Did not work. How about down here in Morovia? Can we just take one of their territories from them? Okay. The Austrians are deploying a decent number of troops, but we definitely have an advantage right here. I'm going to fight this out and try and humble the Austrians so we can force peace with them and rebuild our alliance against Napoleon. Ooh, I like the looks of this. A foggy, windy day here on the battlefield. Looks like the town hall is occupied for now. I want to deploy my artillery somewhere with a bit of high ground. But the town is going to block our way. Huh. Tell you what. Let's put it on the right side and then try and flank around. I'm going to do a bit of a risky move here and just cluster my troops. And try and push up on that right flank quickly. I might have to make use of my cavalry on the left to keep them distracted. Put one unit of cavalry off on the right. Let's see how quickly we can move up with these cannons. There's the Austrians. And the reinforcements are coming from behind us, of course. Okay, let's form a circle then. Let's get some cannons on the hill right over here. Nestle them right there. We'll get you guys moving in. with some cavalry. The 
rest of you guys turn around quickly. Strike out and hit them hard. There we go, our riflemen are hitting them from afar. Right as our cavalry get there. Perfect. Their morale was already broken. I'm gonna put some riflemen, some hunters, Jaegar, in the town hall for visibility and range. Hold your fire, man. Hold your fire. Now get ready for the Austrian infantry. Ooh, spun my view there. Once this last unit is dispatched behind my lines, I can actually turn and face the town again. We've taken the building, sir. Yep, they're gonna push for the cannon, so cavalry, get in there and hit them. Down in the gully, they won't see my horse coming. Wir sind jetzt in Schussweite, Sir. Unter ihr Narren. Okay, Canyon, hold your fire. That's enough of that. Infantry, hold your fire. And with that, they are crushed. Perfect. I'm gonna make this cannon my shrapnel shot cannon. And now for the main event. We'll put our Jaegars in the town hall over here as well.
cannon move up to this hillside right here. some hits. Buildings up. If we can hold all this high ground and keep them pinned in this kind of U shape down in the valley with our buildings for cover, they're not going to last long at all. Our cannons are firing like point blank off that hillside into their ranks. Actually, are they within canister shot range? Just barely outside of it. Just not quite. Forgot to move my other cavalry up. And here comes the charge. Prepare canister shot. They are falling back from our captured part of the town. Perfect. take out their general from behind with a long, long flank. Look at that charge right there in the back. They are already panicking. General Falls. Perfect. Let's make sure that these units retreating on our right flank don't come back. Yep, they're trying to come back. Let's make sure they stay broken. Okay. 
enemy general sent back to France. Wounded. Victories, huh? is soon to be yours. Fire. Fire. Run them down. Wait, I'm not fighting the French, I'm fighting the Austrians. Whoops. I'm actually just embarrassing one of my former allies here. This is awkward. Okay, so let's not kill all of them as they retreat. We'll let some go. After all, the primary goal here is to sue for peace, not massacre them. We'll save that for Napoleon's France. We deployed similar numbers, but definitely massacred them, killing about 1,500, while they killed about 111 of us. Most kills, 6-pounder foot artillery, 118, then 98. Not sure what the Silesian unit is, it might be infantry, 143. Where are our Jaegars? 30 and 33 kills each. Not a lot as far as numbers go, but they definitely provided that accurate, very accurate rifle fire and kept their morale down. We're going to peacefully occupy the territory. And now it belongs to us. I'll tell you what though, before we go absolutely nuts recruiting here in the east and capturing Lemberg, is that enough for Austria to sue for peace? Okay, they won't accept peace just at face value. So request peace and offer them regions can be ceded to or that region that we just took. Morovia. They're still not interested. Well, Austria, you are getting distracted here. The true threat is in the west. I guess we'll just have to embarrass them further. Oh look, we can take Lemberg too in this turn. Oh, there's an army there. That's unexpected. Continue siege. In Warsaw. We don't... No, we do need a theater. For public opinion. We'll also build a magistrate for our navy. Let's build one more 38 gun frigate. And let's keep recruiting here in Hanover. Get some of our best line infantry going right there. Okay, generals, let's see if we can take out this Dutch army just across the river that we already pushed back. He's going to retreat. Gonna auto-resolve that for victory. And we'll go back to our capital all neatly in one turn. I'm going to move one of my generals to this unit, two units of line infantry off to the side, so they can replenish. I guess you do have to have a general to replenish. And General Gerhard, 
Got the plus one morale mentioned in dispatches perk. We have just under 800 gold left. Research is still continuing, so... Nothing new to build as far as buildings go yet. We have to keep going up the tech tree first. I guess we could recruit. I don't know what that red X means. Poland. Poland needs more troops. We'll go with a classic musketeer line infantry. Check for any more options for diplomacy. No options for trade. So I will call it a productive turn here and see what happens next. In late July, we have some finished construction, nothing too exciting there. And a bit of recruitment in Hanover, which is good because I'm pretty sure I saw the Dutch running east with an army somewhere. Uh, man, where did he go? I think he's around here somewhere. I do want to move these two units down south to Hessen Castle to help fortify, but I'm worried that they might need to stay there to defend the capital. Let's build a supply warehouse to help with our replenishment. I guess we'll send General Gerhard scouting. I don't see the army. All right, well, back to the capital, and we'll put our small force here with General Fredrich on the bridge. Oh, he's hiding in the woods. That's where you are. We actually don't have the option to retreat because it's a forest ambush. We do just have to hold out as long as possible. Sneaky. Let's see how we do. Because we're being ambushed, we are completely surrounded. We've got to move quickly. Square formation men. formation hold the line oh no a cannon shell got our general two desperate squares of troops That is a lot of cavalry, wow.
our general's guard is out of there. broken. Our troops do manage to fall back, but what's happened here is this army has exposed itself, and now we can go after it. Which I think we're going to do here. What we'll do is get our troops just within range of reinforcements from Hanover like that then send in General Gerhard oh, not within reinforcement range worth a shot, we're still going to crush them time for revenge let's give them a nice row of cannons that we'll put put them just up there once the battle starts I'm gonna keep our deployment nice and simple single stacks of lines mixture of Jaegers and musketeers some cavalry on the left general in the middle behind the hillside and cavalry on the right cannons move up first infantry file in quickly on both sides. Let's just have a slug fest here. They do have one unit of artillery. Some light dragoons. Ah, this unit right here, 31 and 19, they're the ones that got injured in that ambush. So did this unit right here actually, only 51 left. Wow, they are pushing hard. Cannons are having to fire uphill though. They're gonna charge, wow. Dragoons are about to get lit. Switch to Sir. canister shot. Sir, our general is under attack. Our general is fine. And 
Let's go for their dragoons here on the right flank. Right here in the woods. Let the chaos begin. Running, We've lost a cannon. We've lost all of our cannons, it looks like. No, just the one. Hold the line, men. Shift a bit. And engage. Now they must break. There we go. Our cavalry are definitely causing some damage in the back here. Well, I'll give them that. The charge was a decent idea. But it was not enough. Oh, they are coming back from the break. Square formation. Make them come at us. All remaining cannons fire on this Glorious infantry back here. Is soon to be yours. Guess it's time to charge these lines in. What a messy fight there in the center. Ooh, I see some good hits there. Charging a row of sharpshooters with only 14 horse. And it worked.
Cavalry charge. Let's finish this off. it right there a very intense fight that was quite the nice move right there just swarm the masses of your troops right into my artillery section I couldn't maintain a volume of fire thick enough to hold them back from getting that one cannon There we are guys, we deployed 1,700 men, we did lose about 424, they deployed 13, almost 1,400, and did lose 1,100. We have taken our revenge on the army in the woods. Back to Amsterdam with you. I guess I'll go ahead and recruit another general. Get another army going down here. Build some light cavalry and some musketeers. Recruit a new general. We actually can't afford the generals that I want, so I'm going to wait until next turn and get a more infantry focused general, which that will cost us more money. Heroic death. General Fred Reach died in that ambush in the woods. The French are still moving troops in here in Hessen Kessel. So I will recruit more from, let's do Hanover first. Do some Swiss Grenadiers and some Musketeers from Berlin. They should be able to get in there and possibly create a third army for us and hold the French back here. Going back to the Austrian problem. It looks like that my capture of Moravia here has got them really, really nervous. I'm very close to their capital here in Vienna. They're pulling tons and tons of troops in to reinforce it. But I'm not interested in Vienna. I want to just humble them enough so that they actually uh, sue for peace. So I will combine my armies down here in the southeast of my empire in preparation for taking Lemberg next turn. Sabotage, uh, filtrate. Let's sabotage that that uh, tax office. Agent detected again. Man. Okay, where is my other agent in Austria's empire? There he is. Oh. Down here at Munich. Clicking on the assassinate button. Attempted assassination. Their general. 37%. I like it. Ah! He was captured and executed. That sucks. Well, <laughs> what a way to end it for this episode. But I am going to end it there. In the next turn, we will take revenge against Austria for the execution of our agent and take the barely defended Lemberg. Hopefully, hopefully, after that, they will finally agree to peace. I guess I might as well try one more time, request peace, offer them back their own region, and we'll throw in a hundred gold, a hundred and sixty-six gold, just because we're kind. 
Man, the Austrians have a a huge grudge with us for some reason. They declared war on us, so I don't want to hear it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all on the next episode.